Okay, so you forgot your password in Excel. So for example, you might be trying to over type or enter data into your sheet and you're getting this message. You might be trying to add sheets to your workbook, but you can't do that either. Now the passwords are needed for unprotecting the sheet and unprotecting the workbook. So those are the two passwords we're trying to recover. Now the good news is, is that you don't actually need to find the passwords. You can actually unprotect both the sheet and the workbook using a different method. So I'm in File Explorer and what I'm going to do is create a copy of this file. So I'm just holding down Control and dragging it. Now you need to make sure that you can see the file extension on these files. If you can't go to View, Show, and make sure File Name Extensions is ticked there. If it's not, you won't see the file extensions. Now for your copy, what you need to do is change this file extension. So if you select it and then click on the Rename button, and the file extension's got to be zip, Z-I-P. Click on yes here. Now go into this zip folder. And then within the zip folder, go into the Excel folder. So if you have forgotten the password for workbook protection, we need to deal with this file here. And what you need to do is open it in Notepad. Now you might be able to do that by right clicking on the file and going to open, and then you'll get a sub menu of applications you can open it in. If you can't see that sub menu like I can't there, just copy it onto your desktop. So hold down control and drag it onto your desktop, then right click on it, open with notepad. So this is a bit scary, but we only need to change one thing in here. You need to search for the word protection. So control F on your keyboard and then type protection up here. And then if you hit this down arrow, it'll go through and find every occurrence of the word protection. Now the folder my file is in is called protection hack. So I'm not interested in that. If I go down again, I get to a section of the code called workbook protection. Now we need to delete this section of the code. Now you need to select from that open angled bracket to the left of workbook protection down to where the bracket closes, the angled bracket closes. So that section there, and just delete that and then save and close this. So now we've done that, we need to copy this amended file back into this folder. So just drag it in and copy and replace. Now, if you've forgotten the password that protects your worksheet, you need to go into this worksheets folder, and that's going to list all of the sheets in your workbook. So I only have one. And again, I'm going to copy it, control drag it onto the desktop, right click, open with notepad, control F again, and I'm searching for the word protection again. And the section we're interested in here is called sheet protection. So I'm selecting from that angled open bracket down to the next angled close bracket. And I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to save it and close it. And then drag this amended copy back into this folder. Copy and replace. OK, so we've made the two amendments we need to make. So we now need to go back up so we can see the parent folder. And we need to rename this back to an XLSX file. So just change the file extension back to XLSX. Click on Yes. So now if I open this, you will see if I go to the review tab, that the sheet is no longer protected. So for example, I can over type numbers and the workbook is no longer protected. So for example, I can add a new sheet. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover. 
in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.